Hello and welcome to another episode of Spare Time Gardening with me Simon. Here I am in the conservatory with the garden behind me and you can just see the mini greenhouse. In this episode we'll be just taking a look at some of the updates on the seedlings and also I'll be starting off the geraniums into growth for, for this season. So enjoy! <music> Update in the garden, it's towards the end of April now. So, here we've got some alliums and the perennial sweet pea all doing really well. We've got the tall feathers grass just putting on some new growth. Also, got the willow trees bursting into, into growth now, and also the acer starting to burst into flower. Let's take a look further down the garden. The allotment that we dug over. He's digging over again, so I need to do some work on that. And on the bottom border, rhubarb, look at that, coming on a tree. And then we've got more alliums at the back there, all coming through, looking lovely. The hellebore, doing well, and just there, you'll hopefully see the bluebells just starting to bud up. And look at those primroses, don't they look lovely? Just step over towards the greenhouse, some lavender putting on growth, raspberries starting to burst into flame, or bud up anyway, more alliums, all looking lovely. Quick update in the greenhouse, over wintering geranium starting to grow now, and look at these silver birch trees, look how lovely they look now, they need to go outside now. There you've got the ground cover, lost a couple due to the heat in the greenhouse, it's been lovely and warm. 14 degrees today and it's the 20th of April. Growth on the fuchsias, some are coming back as you can see. Not all of them are though, so we'll see, we might have lost some of those. Some cuttings, carnations, they're rooted now, you can see how they progress. And the mint bursting back into growth. Do like this time of year. Here's a weekly roundup of my tomatoes. Look at those now. They're doing really well. Putting on loads of growth. Let's have a look at the plants in the uh, in the little greenhouse. So a roundup in the mini greenhouse. I've got some dailies transplanted. Three pansies. I need to put some more in. And mint has been transplanted. In here, some thyme left in there, rosemary, and a single cucumber, and a not so good looking pea. Up here, basil, and at the back there, mint, further seeds. In here, marigolds. Lavender and thyme. Up here, 40 snapdragons, and here, petunias that you saw in earlier videos, doing really well now. Some of those I've just transplanted. A quick weekly roundup of the plants in the mini greenhouse in the conservatory. These are the petunias, look at those, the romping ahead now. Here you've got snapdragons, doing really well, look at those now. Down here, basil, and four, five sorry, cucumbers. Some seedlings still of mint, marigolds, for some companion planting for the tomatoes, keep the white fly away. Some lavender, and then here, thyme. 
then here we've got some dahlias just three pansies need to put some more in and some transplanted mint and here's the tomatoes look at those now putting on some real growth doing really well so I'm going to move all these into the into the greenhouse. Hopefully now that the weather's starting to warm up, although this last week has been freezing, we've had snow. It's the 1st of May today and last week we had snow. Unbelievable. But yeah, doing really well. Right, okay, so now's a good time of year to start the geraniums off into growth. So you can see there's some dead heads on here but some new growth so we'll mix in some good new compost cut off the dead part of it and then it'll spur it back into into growth for this season so let's uh, let's get on with a few <coughs> so for a bucket and see good good roots on there let's uh, take some of the old old compost off. I've got some new compost for this year. Multi-purpose general compost. Just pop that in there. Pop the geranium in and then we'll just fill around it like so. Firming it down. So it's secure and then <coughs> sharp secateur and we'll just nip that off there and that's one done so here's one that's not got any growth yet I'm not sure if it will Having a look at the roots, I think that's, uh, I think that's died. So we'll chuck that one. I've got a spare pot. This one's got growth on it, as you can see. So roots just coming through. multi-purpose we'll pop him in there and yeah just fill around around the edges and don't forget to give them a good drink so let's have a look at this and we'll just slip that off like that one doesn't look too healthy might have got some new growth come back to that one this one certainly has new new leaves and all I've done is just overwintered them in just some seed compost very low in nutrients but enough to keep them surviving and then we'll just pop that in there and we'll fill around it firm them in and we'll just make it cut As I said, don't forget to water. Look at this one. Spring it into life. And you can see some of the roots 
just there. Some of, the, some of the dead parts. And there it is. Said we'll give them a good drink afterwards. And we'll just continue to, to work with the geraniums. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button. And please feel free to leave your comments and feedback below. I'd love to hear from you. So don't be shy, and of course I'll reply. See you soon. Bye.